What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodelsworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial and today we're gonna create this really cool Z-depth effect and this time we're gonna use the Arnold AOVs to create this so we're gonna do it how it need to be done in Arnold correctly and this is actually gonna be straightforward tutorial it's gonna be easy to do and I'm gonna show you also how to take this uh, Z-depth information and how to comp it in After Effects correctly so this way you have the full picture from start to finish how to use this uh, Z-depth pass so without further ado delay let's get started okay so this is the scene I have uh, as you can see I have this uh, very cool battleship we have in our store and also I have a simple ocean and I do have that uh, like an HDRI for the lighting and the directional light so it's pretty simple setup so let's go to the camera and then let's render see what we have so now I'm using the rendering uh, from Arnold uh, here you can access it here and uh, this is what we have now with the current setup and I just have the beauty as you can see and there's nothing else here in the scene so let's create the Z depth so let's go to the settings under the AOVs and then let's click on built in so you can see here the Z depth just click on this double arrows and then here the z-depth is basically now added to your scene okay so in order to activate the z-depth there is one more step we need to do you can click on this like small arrow here and then click on select driver now it should show up a menu here if it didn't show up just click ctrl a and then uh, this default arnold driver uh, tab show up so the only thing you need to do here is basically go down to merge AOVs and just check that. And that's basically gonna um, connect the Z-depth to appropriately to your scene so it can render. That's the only thing you need to do. So now you can close. And then let's re-render. We'll click on render here and update full scene. Okay, so it's almost uh, done rendering. Just a few more uh, steps here to finish. And then you can see here we got highlighted the beauty here. So let's switch it to Z. So now we're looking at the Z depth, but as you can see, it's all white and it seems like it's not working. So, and that's actually not correct. The Z depth actually working. You just need to view it correctly. You can see here, there's this settings like for the exposure. And if you start playing with this uh, slider, if you start lowering it down and you can see the Z depth is showing. So you can even uh, lower this number uh, even less. So now it's minus uh, five. You can switch it to minus 10. And you can see here the result of the Z depth. So this way, basically, we know that the Z depth is already rendered and it's correct, as you can see here. We just need to figure out how to reveal it when we do the comping. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys next. We're going to now go to After Effects. I'm going to show you how to apply this uh, Z depth correctly uh, into your uh, comp. But before we do that, there's one thing I want to show you guys. If you go to the common, just make sure when you render make sure you're choosing EXR you're not using PNG or anything EXR will be really good because this way it's gonna have all the render passes into this one image file because in Arnold you're not gonna have uh, like mental ray like a Z depth pass separate from beauty pass it's gonna be uh, combined together especially for the Z depth so EXR will be really good format to render and it's gonna have this information so let's go to After Effects Okay, so now we are in After Effects and you can see here I have the image sequence, the TXR and uh, if you look here at the channels, you can see there's five channels that uh, alpha and uh, blue, green, red and also that have Z, so that's the Z depth. So let's take this to new comp and this is basically what we have. Let's select just enough like 60 frames of this one. So this is the animation and now uh, in order to show the Z depth let's duplicate the select it and control D or command D and then let's right click and go to effects go to 3d channel and then look for this called extractor so click on it and then this one we're gonna basically extract the Z depth information from this uh, comp so you can click on it click on any of these channel here you see here the red and when you click on it you can see the options you can select Z, green, select Z 
and then the blue select Z so this way we select all the, all the channels now they're pointing to the Z which is the Z depth the alpha you can leave it as it is you don't need to worry about it click OK so now again you get this white uh, color and you can see if you look down here in the process you can see there's a black point and there is white point then if you started changing these settings let's start playing with them and we start immediately showing the Z depth so this is the Z depth basically how it shows the information from Arnold so let's play with this settings a little bit maybe something like this could be cool so this is more clear this is very clear and this is faded and this is uh, out with the background okay so that looks pretty good maybe let's tweak it a little bit more let's put this one more in sharpness and these are faded maybe this is too much let's put 90 let's go with 80 something like that or maybe even 70 I'm just trying to blur this area more so we have more nice gradients between these uh, layers maybe like even less like that 30 maybe too much 30 man. let's go 50 yeah 50 sounds looks much better okay so this is uh, good here now let's change this name so they're not the same let's change this to Z depth so once we change the settings let's do one more thing let's go pre-comp this uh, file here and then let's uh, you can keep it this name and then let's move all attribute into the new comp so then all these attributes here will be inside the comp and not outside it let's do that so here it's all clean if you go inside we have all this uh, information here this is just an extra layer of protection so this way when we apply this as a z depth We'll make sure it works correctly in um, After Effects. So let's hide this. Let's go to our main layer. Let's go Effects, Blur Sharpen, and then Camera Reference Blur. Okay, and then let's immediately select in the layer, select the Z Depth Comp. And you can see how it works really well. It's immediately blurred the things we need to blur. And then let's make sure Repeat Edge Pixel here is checked. So if you uncheck it, you can see this black borders. We don't need that. So now it's more clear. So basically you can leave it as it is or you can start playing with it. So now the blur radius, I'm just going to go quickly through this guys. Uh, it have 10, you can increase it to 10 or you can increase it as much as you want. And basically that's going to blur. But you don't want to go too much because it starts to look really weird. So 5 is fine like the default. You can even go lower than that. And then another thing uh, we can do is basically this blur focal distance and when you change it it's gonna adjust how the f the blurring affecting so now we're reversing we're focusing more in the background and the foreground are out of focus so that's something to keep in mind when you're doing this and then uh, another thing here is the invert blur map if you check it here it's gonna basically invert it so this is basically like the basics how you can apply this Z depth here and if always you can go to this Z depth comp you can always ch change it you know tweak it and adjust it and this is gonna immediately be reflected into your scene when you go back to the original comp so if we blur out this area you go here you can see here everything is get blurred and this is gonna you know influence you can also tweak it from here but you know it's not gonna be incredibly powerful as going back to the original one and tweak it from there because there you have the real information to play with so you can see here you can animate this is all animatable you can like quickly animate a switching between uh, the foreground and the background so hopefully this tutorial help you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i publish a new video feel free to check our website 3dmodelsworld.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care